Right. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to uh, After Further Review. I'm your host, Steve Tower, and we have a uh, special Sunday morning show here uh, in light of the holiday sale that is going on over at Play Games. And I can make that a teeny bit bigger. Uh, so, um, well, first, welcome to everyone in the chat room. I wasn't sure how many people would be <laughs> tuning in this early on a Sunday. I uh, hope everybody had a, uh, a great holiday weekend um, and got to spend some time with friends and family. Um, almost time to get back to the grind. But before we do that, uh, so every year um, at Play, I believe this is their 10th year in a row that they are doing this, um, have a sale over the holiday weekend uh, from Black Friday to Cyber Monday. Uh, this year they introduced doorbuster sales, uh, which every day they go live at midnight Eastern time and they have all been sold out without fail um, the past three mornings by the time I have gotten up. But um, if you are a, a night owl, um, be sure to, to check those out. But today we are talking about the, uh, the special release uh, that has come with this holiday sale, the Let's Play Tennis. Uh, this is available as a PDF download. Um, as you can see, you can get the, the base game uh, for $9. That comes with all the game boards, the instructions, um, as well as a um, uh, Stars of the 2000s uh, card set. Uh, with it, uh, you can also get an all-time great tennis player set for <clears throat> for six dollars, and then a fictional uh, set, uh, which I will be showcasing here uh, for six dollars as well. Uh, so I uh, I got these the first day this came out. Uh, used my local FedEx Kinkos uh, to uh, to get them printed out to save <laughs> save some wear and tear on my old printer, uh, and I thought that we would take a uh, look through here uh, at what you get and how a tournament runs through. So uh, I've only got to play this through a couple times, so bear with me. This is gonna be um, a pretty informal show compared to compared to my usual highbrow content that I put out. Um, so uh, this is what the, uh, the game board looks like, uh, which you will only be using when you go to the um, uh, the point by point uh, playthrough. Um, for the fictional set, uh, you get uh, this overview that uh, gives you a, uh, a brief background on the, the top 25 players. Uh, it, this does include 100 players. Um, we've got our stack here uh, and our top four players off to the side, which you'll see why in uh, just a second. Uh, and then uh, the, uh, the game boards. Uh, for how to go through. Um, I did have them printed uh, double-sided. Um, so not too many charts. Uh, there are four of these uh, to get through your tournament. Uh, and the way that they um, put this game out, they said it's more of a toolbox. Uh, in fact, that's what it's described as <laughs> in um, uh, the, uh, the main description of it. Uh, and because if you all you want to do is quick play through everything, just to find out who won, you certainly can. Uh, if you want to just do one-offs between players uh, and go point by point, um, you can absolutely do that as well. Uh, or you can uh, you can mix and match uh, to your to your heart's content. Um, so because it is a PDF, you will have to provide your own markers uh, and dice. Uh, you do only you just need two uh, d sixes of uh, different colors, uh, and then some chips. Um, which I have up here, but we will get to those um, in our later match. Uh, so I'll move this off to the side for now, uh, and we'll get started with our tournament. This will be the, the AFR Open. Uh, so the first thing you need to do is decide what surface the, um, the tournament will be taking place on. Uh, and I will be, uh, I'm, a, uh, I'm a natural guy, so we're gonna be playing on grass. Uh, there are three different surfaces, um, hard, clay, and grass, uh, and certain players will perform better on certain surfaces um, if they have uh, that quality listed uh, on the, the surface there. So uh, all four of our top players uh, do have the grass quality. Uh, three of them actually have it underlined. Um, so 
Um, if anybody's familiar with History Maker Golf, uh, the tournament play works pretty similar to that. Uh, so what we're going to do, we have our, our stack O um, players here all shuffled up. Uh, we are going to break this down in two, um, into four stacks. And then we will take our four top players and randomly shuffle them. And each of them are going to go into one of the stacks. And then we will shuffle them up. Oh. And then each of these stacks will get divided again into two sub stacks. Uh, and this will, will help to ensure that your top players won't be facing each other earlier um, and there's a, a better chance that they will make it through to the final. Uh, not always, of course, you never know, but all right, so there is our third stack. Uh, and you don't have to count them out exactly. You can just eyeball them um, to make sure that the stacks are, are fairly even. And it looks like I am running out of real estate on my camera. So maybe what I'll do is I'll have them, I'll move these back up here. All right, so there we go. We've got our eight stacks. Uh, and so here is our tournament module for the early rounds. Uh, now, if you, uh, so, so you have early rounds and middle rounds, uh, if you have 50 or less players, uh, you can skip right to the middle rounds, um, but we have 100 with our fictional set. Uh, so we will start in the early rounds, and what's gonna happen is we are gonna get four players um, out of each of these stacks uh, to make it into the next round. Uh, and we will do that simply by a die roll. So we'll start right here. We'll work our way across. So here in our first stack, uh, we'll read these um, in sequential order. So a one, four. Uh, step one, we're not gonna get any random draws from that. And now uh, in the step two is for the surface quality. So we are on uh, a uh, grass surface, so we'll go through this stack here and look for three players with the grass quality. Um, oh, and right away, we have nobody in there <laughs> with the grass quality. So that means that just three random players will make it through. All right, so here we go. Our first three moving along are gonna be Gene Mueller from Germany, Stanislav Borisov from Russia, Marislav Javalinkic from Serbia and Oscar. Oh, no, that's three. Uh, and then, let's see, two, and then we're going to pick one. Uh, and the step three is the top player. So, similar to the golf game, everybody has a tournament rating, uh, which is a number and then a letter grade. Uh, and the, uh, the lower the number, the better. So, it looks like we have a 3C. Uh, oh, uh, and a 3B, so Oscar Norland will be our fourth player from that. So, uh, that four players left from that stack. All the other players will be eliminated. Uh, we can move them off to the side. All right, so our next stack, 3-4. Uh, so this one, uh, one random player from the top. So Osep Lebedev, uh, a 24-year-old uh, from Russia, will... Be out and then one player with the grass quality. There we go. We do have one. Uh, ooh, we have two, three. All right. So what happens when you have multiple players um, with the quality? And we need to have one. We'll just take them all out, and one of these players will advance. Uh, and it is going to be uh, Gerard Rakowski from Poland. Those other players will go back in the stack. And then finally, uh, we are going to pick two of the top players. So Sergei Ivanov will make it through. Uh, and let's see. Oh, well, there's no threes left. Oh, no, there is. 3C, I believe, will be the highest one. All right, so... Emil Mendel from Austria will advance. 
Moving on to the next stack. One five. One random player. Uh, Rustav Dalatov from Kazakhstan. Uh, two for the surface. So looking for two players with the grass quality. There is one. Let's see. Two, three. All right, so we will have to randomly. Uh, oh, so one player out of these will not make it. All right. So Salvatore Mancini is the one who is the unlucky draw. Fabio Ramos, uh, one of our top rated players. Uh, and Andre Lazic. Uh, and then finally, the last one is just the top player. So actually, I think Mancini will still make it through as he is a 2C. Don't think anybody is going to beat that. Uh, and they won't. All right. So the next stack will be halfway through the opening rounds. Four, six. Uh, nobody random. Two surface. And then the top two players. Well, there is one with the grass quality. Uh, two with the grass quality. And if they are the only two, then they will make it. All right. And then just looking for the top rated player, we have a 3C. And I think that will do it. Oh. We have two three C's. Okay, so uh, Diaz and Ahmed Aboud, who will make it? Oh, no, uh, it's the two, right? Yeah, two top players. Okay, so there we go. They will both make it. All right, halfway through the first round, up here to this pile, three, five, two random. Uh, Jack Messina and Mikola Bendevic. From Belarus. Uh, let's see. Uh, one for surface. Uh, and we've got a lot of grass players here. There's three, four. All right. So we need to pick one player out of here to move along. And Luca Romana, and then the highest ranked player, um, I can only assume it is going to be Taylor Walker. A lot of lower ranked players in that stack. All right, so no upsets so far. Our top players have all advanced. Uh, one five, draw one random. Two surface. And then the top player. So there are two players with the grass quality. Let's see. Oh, and we will have a draw off. All right, so we need two players with the grass quality, all right? One, five. All right, so two out of these four will advance. Uh, Manus Nyquist and Pablo Fernandez, uh, and then the remaining highest ranked player, uh, and I believe that's going to be Liam Hoppler. So Milos Kovac uh, will not advance. He is our probably our highest ranked player who has not advanced. Oh no! Wait, wait, wait! We do have a two, another two A. Oh boy! <clears throat> All right, so. We'll shuffle these guys up, and it will be Liam Hoppler who advances. So a 2A has been eliminated from the tournament. Two more stacks left to go, 11. Oh, and this is just four random players. Uh-oh. So there is one, two, three, four. So let's see, did that stack have one of the four highest ranked players in it? Oh, it did. Oh, no. The, <laughs> the kid Bobby Lawson 
uh, I believe he's the third ranked player. Uh, he is not going to advance. Oh boy, a big upset in the opening rounds. All right, and then our final stack. Uh, two, two, uh, just four players uh, with the grass quality. Let's see, there is one, two. All right, only have two, so two random players uh, from this stack will advance. All right, so there we go. Okay, so uh, after you get through these, um, the reason why you wanna keep them in their original stacks is because now we're going to recombine them and we will end up with four stacks of players and we will shuffle them up and we will move on to uh, the middle rounds and we will get uh, two players from each of these stacks uh, unless we get a, uh, a roll of doubles and then we will have an additional uh, round of 16 um, between two players to see who advances. All right, so our first big upset, Bobby Lawson. Oh, that's that's a bummer because he's the player who I've <laughs> latched on to here in my fictional league. All right, so we'll start up here. Uh, basically the same uh, kind of uh, process, except we're only getting two players from each stack. Uh, so a 1-3. So uh, first we are just looking for uh, a player with the grass quality. And uh, all right, so we have two. All right, so uh, Gerard Rakowski. And then uh, the next one will be top player. Uh, and that's going to be Sergi Ivanov. I don't believe that there is. No. All right, so there are our first two in the final eight. Moving down here, uh, 11. First, a random player. Oh, and we will get a, uh, a round of 16. All right, so how that works, um, we'll set these two players off to the side. So first, we're looking for a surface quality. And, ooh, and we have a lot of players that are good on grass here. All right, so randomly two of or uh, one of these players rather uh, Tristan Guru uh, and then going against the top player so Fabio Ramos will be it all right so we will set these guys off to the side because we will have a special match for them and only one of them will be advancing to the final eight moving up top here two six uh, surface and then top player so looking for players with the grass quality. And we have a, a lot of them. All right, who is going to be the lucky one out of here? And we get Liam Hopler. And then, uh, oh, we have two players with the one C. Oh, we have three players with one C. Oh, goodness. All right, so only one of them can advance. Uh, who will it be? Uh, it will be Taylor Walker. So Pablo Fernandez and Matias Nyquist are out of there. Uh, and then our final stack here, four, six. Top player, top player. So who is down in here? Looks like Stuart Cole. Well, how about that? And Caesar Calvo. All right. So we'll set these guys off over here. And now we need to find out who is going to advance between Fabio and Tristan Guru. Uh, so we'll move our, our main board over here. Um, I'll say that Fabio is the uh, um, the player with the uh, who is the favored player uh, since he is a higher tournament rank. Uh, so you put the uh, the favored player down here in the the white outline box, the underdog in the black 
outline box. Um, and then I have black and white markers to keep track of the games and the points. Um, for this one, I think that we will uh, just go right to, um, we will just quick play this one uh, to find out who wins the sets. Uh, so, um, first, we'll see what qualities we are looking for. 3-6, Volley and Savvy. Uh, so Fabio's has Volley and he has Savvy underlined, so that counts for three. Uh, Tristan uh, has both of them, so two. So Fabio's uh, has a one quality advantage, so a small advantage. We're all on the small advantage chart. Uh, this one, you just add the total together. So it's a five. The advantage player trails the set five to four. All right, so we will go to the, uh, the no rally module. Uh, and the underdog is leading uh, the first set five to four. We'll roll the dice, total them together. We get a four, oh, which means an unpredictable outcome. Uh, when you get that, we'll roll again to see what qualities we're looking for. Forehand and savvy. Uh, one, two, three, and then one, two. So Fabio's with a small advantage. And we get an eight, and he will win in a tie break. So he wins uh, the first set. Uh, and then we will go uh, back here to the fourth, the set to see who wins the second set. So starting all over again, uh, 23. This time we're looking for backhand and volley. Uh, so three for Fabio's, two for Tristan. Fabio's uh, with a small advantage again. Uh, and this time he is leading the set five to two, and this will probably do it. Uh, five, yes, yeah, so he'll win the second set six four. Uh, so it'll be Fabio's who advances. And Tristan, a good run for him. Um, but does not make it out of the round of 16. All right, so, um, all right, so uh, let's see. We'll set up our players and we'll, we'll rank them uh, from one to eight. And let's see, you got a couple threes. Um, and then twos, that looks right. and like this all right all right so here we go um so one versus eight two versus seven etc um and um we can do a similar thing here we'll get to we'll uh, wait until the last match to do a full point by point um all right let's see Um, oh, sorry, Zach. I'm just seeing your. Uh... Oh, 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 oh! I see what you're saying. Um, the symbols on the yes. Okay, I might have missed that. You are right. Um, so the surface quality um, has a symbol beside it, uh, and they only get. Um, the quality, if the um, if they have the symbol beside the um, uh, the quality, ah, okay, I I think I did miss that on my uh, on my first plates or uh, on a couple of those. All right, so uh, for instance, let's see. So so Fabio, he would get if he was playing on a clay court, he would always have the volley. Let's see, actually. Um, but on a hard or a grass surface, he does not have the volley quality. Okay, that is a good distinction. Thank you, Zach, for catching on that. Um, all right. So, um, let's see. And then everyone has the star quality. All right, so so for Fabio on the grass, he has all of his qualities except for volley. Uh, Sergio will have all of his qualities. Uh, Taylor will not have footwork. Let's see, is there anybody we have to... Uh, Caesar will not have forehand. Uh, do, 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 Gerard will have all of his thing. And then Stuart will not have footwork. Okay. 
All right, so uh, we'll start at the bottom here. So uh, Liam Hopler versus Stuart Cole. Um, and we will continue using the, uh, um, the for the set and the no rally modules. Uh, let me just make sure I have everything on screen here. All right. Okay, so uh, we are now looking for footwork and savvy. So two for Liam um, and two for Stuart. Um, he won't get his footwork, but savvy is underlined. So even uh, a nine, the higher seed leads the set five to three. So the favorite leads five to three, um, but we roll a three. So we're gonna have an unpredictable outcome. This time we are looking for volley and endurance. So one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, they are even. And a 10, the high seed wins seven to five. So Liam wins set number one. Going back up here, looking for savvy and surface. Uh, so one, two, uh, and then one, two, three, four. So Stuart is actually gonna have a moderate advantage, uh, a two quality advantage. Uh, advantage player leads us at five nil. So underdog leads 5-0, and on a seven, he will win the set six to two. All right, so the, uh, the final set, uh, let's see, volley and savvy. One, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four. So Cole uh, will have a small advantage uh, and will lead the set to five to three. So underdog leading five to three, and he will win the set six to four. So there we go. Stuart Cole will advance. Liam Hoffler is eliminated in the quarterfinals. All right, our next matchup, Taylor Walker taking on Gerard Rakowski. Um, <laughs> uh, as uh, Clinton Paris joins us. Yes, I, I kind of felt the same way. I wasn't sure how I felt about tennis. Um, but once I, once I got going, um, after I got everything cut out last night, well, you know, and I'm a sucker for fictional play too. So, um, lots and lots of fun for sure. All right. So here we go. Uh, Taylor taking on, uh, Gerard Rakowski, uh, 35 volley and endurance. Uh, so two for Walker, uh, and two for Rakowski, so they are even. Higher seed leads the set five to four. And on a 10, he will win six four. So Tyler takes the first set. Our next set, 13, forehand and volley. One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three, they are even. Higher seed leads the set five to four. Close matchup and unpredictable outcome. Let's see, 25. Now we're looking for backhand and endurance. So one, two, three for Walker. Uh, ooh, to zero for Rakowski. So uh, a, a large advantage for Walker and he leads the set five to three. Two, let's see, and a three. Uh, oh, we're gonna go to unpredictable outcome. 26, backhand and savvy. One, two, three uh, to two. So a small advantage for Walker. And an 11, uh, he will end up winning seven to five. So he'll take it two sets to none. And Walker advances. Second to last game in the corner finals. Uh, our second ranked player left, uh, Sergi Ivanov taking on Ahmed Aboud. Looking for backhand and savvy. One, two, three for Ivanov and one, two, three for Aboud. So they are even. Lower seed leads the set five to two. So Aboud 
The underdog leading five to two. Oh, but we are gonna go to unpredictable outcome. Looking for forehand and volley this time. Uh, two for Ivanov and uh, just one for a boot. So a small advantage for Ivanov and he will win it in a tiebreaker, taking the first set. So a bad break for Abood. Set number two, forehand and footwork. Uh, three for Ivanov uh, to one. So a, uh, a moderate advantage. One, two, three to one, yep. Um, for the favored player, total of six. Advantage player leads the set five to four. Uh, and again, we will go to unpredictable outcome. Some back and forth matches here so far. Uh, 45, footwork and endurance. One, two, three for Ivanov uh, to one. So a moderate advantage for Ivanov. A uh, total of seven. And he will win on another tiebreaker and take it two sets to none. All right, and then our last of the quarterfinals, the number one ranked player, 36-year-old Fabio Ramos taking on Cesar Calvo. Uh, let's see, 56, Endurance and Savvy. One, two, three for Ramos uh, to two. So a small advantage for Ramos. Uh, he'll lead the first set five to three. And he will end up winning six to three. So he will take set number one. Next, we are looking for footwork and savvy. One, two, three, four for Ramos to two. Uh, so a moderate advantage for Ramos. Let's see, and a 10. Oh, he leads us at five, nothing. Uh-oh. And he will end up winning that six to nothing. So Ramos advances. And there is our final four of the AFR Open. All right, so reseeding everybody. Um, our first of the semifinals will be Ivanov taking on Walker. So, well, again, we'll see. Uh, we're looking for footwork and savvy. Uh, so two for Ivanov. Uh, and Walker will only have one because his footwork uh, is only on the uh, hard surfaces and we are on grass. So, um, two to one. Uh, so Ivanov with a small advantage. And a nine advantage player leads the set five to two. Uh, and a six, he will end up winning at six to four. Ivanov takes the first set. Next set, we are looking for forehand and savvy. One, two, three for Ivanov. Uh, and one, two, three for Walker, so they are even. And if I have the lower seed, leads the set five to three. So Walker trying to tie things up. And at 11, he will. He'll win the second set, six to three. So we are all knotted up as we head into the deciding third set. This time we are looking for footwork and surface. Uh, one, two. Um, uh, to two, because Walker has grass underlined. So even again, and the higher seed will lead the set five to four. And at a nine, he will win it six to four. So Ivanov advances to the finals. So he wins two sets to one over Ivanov. All right, so here we go. Ramos taking on Cole. Our first set, we are looking for footwork and endurance. Uh, one, two, three for Ramos. And uh, just one for Cole, as he won't get uh, his footwork on the grass surface. All right, so a um, moderate advantage for Ramos. Advantage player leads us at five to one. 
He is most likely going to win this. And yes, he will win 6-2 to two to take the first set. Second set. Volley and Savvy. One... Oh, no, sorry. Uh, just two. Ramos would not get access to his volley quality. Uh, so two to uh, one, two, three, four. So it'll be Cole who will have a moderate advantage in the second set. <clears throat> advantage player leads five to two. Cole trying to tie things up. And he does. He will win six to three. So we are tied at one set apiece. So the winning set here, one, three, forehand and volley. Uh, just one for Ramos uh, to one, two, three. So Cole will have um, the advantage. And we'll, um, we'll use the fast forward um, module uh, for this one and actually play out the, um, the serve <clears throat> for the last set. Um, so first, we'll see um, what the uh, what it is. Uh, he is has a moderate advantage, right? uh, so he'll lead five to four. Uh, let's see. So this five to four. So this is game ten. Uh, so Cole will be serving. Um, so this is where the performance chips come in. Whoever is serving gets a, a, a chip. Um, at the odd, uh, odd games, the um, advantage player is serving even games. The underdog is playing. Um, and now we can use this fast forward module to see what the score is. Um, so first we're looking for qualities. Uh, 34, volley and footwork. Uh, so two for Ramos. One, two. So a small advantage. So Cole will lead 40 to 30. All right, so here we go. Um, the way the, when you're doing this point by point, um, and we can get that up here. There is a handy dandy a uh, little cheat sheet um, that uh, this is also covered in the um, the rules. Uh, so basically, first thing you're going to do is roll for the serve, and what you're looking for. Oh, and how about that? <laughs> the first thing you check is if it's an ace, um, which is right up here. And Stuart Cole, uh, he is going to ace it um, to win uh, and advance. He, he will win the final set six to four. Uh, to move on to the finals. Uh, so a, uh, a big upset as Ramos uh, cannot handle the serve from Stuart Cole. All right. So um, now we will have our final. We'll reset everything. Um, we'll reset the points. All right. So... Um, Let's, uh, we'll quick play the, um, the first set until we get to a deciding one. Uh, backhand and endurance. So Ivanov will have four to three, so a small advantage for Ivanov. Uh, advantage player leads the set five to four. Leading five to four, that'll be an unpredictable outcome. Uh, let's see, one, five, forehand and endurance, uh, one, two, three, four, uh, to two. So a moderate advantage for Ivanov in the first set. And he's going to lose seven to five. Oh, no. <laughs> How about that? Stuart Cole comes from behind uh, to win the first set. Oh, my goodness. All right. So the second set. Um, let's see. We are looking for backhand and endurance. Uh, four for Ivanov. Three for Cole. So small advantage for Ivanov. Uh, he leads the set five to three. 
All right, so we will go to the point by point. So this will be game number nine. So that means that Ivanov will be serving. All right, so we will go to our point by point here. Cole leading one set to nothing, uh, but currently trailing in the second set five to three. Let's see how he does. And Ivanov, oh, um, well, yeah, I guess we'll play this one out full. All right, so Ivanov, he will get an ace on his uh, first serve uh, to take the lead 15 to nothing. All right, um, his second serve. Uh, so the other thing you check if you don't make an ace is see if he double faults, um, which he does not. Uh, so now we'll go over here to the return rating is what we're looking for to see if Cole can uh, return the shot. Uh, he will return it on a three or a five through eight. And he does. So now back to Ivanov. Uh, and now we'll go back and forth on the returns um, until somebody does not hit their return. Uh, back to Cole. Cole to Ivanov, a good volley going on here. Uh, oh, and we have our first seven. All right, so when a seven is rolled, um, not only does he get the return, um, but a potential for a chip. Uh, so um, for Ivanov, we will look at the white die to see if he has the quality uh, in the backhand. He actually has it underlined. So he is gonna gain two performance chips um, as well as returning it. So now over to Cole. Uh, Cole returns it. Ivanov, he is going to use one of those chips um, to convert this into a winner shot. So he'll spend a chip. Um, now we'll roll on his winner range, and as long as he rolls within that, it'll mean that Cole cannot return it, and he will win the point. Uh, and he gets a 9, so he does, and he now leads 30 to love. Back to the serve. Oh, and another ace. Oh boy, Ivanov is now feeling it here. Um, trying to even up this. All right, so his next serve um, is doubles. So when you roll doubles, it means it's a well-executed serve or return. Uh, and it's gonna lower the return range of uh, the opposing player by one at the high end. So now Cole his return range will be three or five through seven. Uh, oh, and he does not return it. So Ivanov uh, wins the second set, six to three. All right, so uh, let's see what our setup is for um, the final set. Now, unfortunately, um, chips do not carry over between um, between sets. Uh, they do carry over between games, though. So if Cole had been able to come back um, and uh, win that and we had to go to another game, Ivanov would have been able to keep his chips. Um, let's see. Oh, sorry. And I just realized when double sixes are rolled uh, on a serve, you need to roll on the unusual chart. All right. Um, thanks, Dwayne. I actually, that's my first time rolling double sixes on a serve. All right, so let's go back here. We're, um, we're at 40 to nothing. And it was five to three. All right, so double sixes on the serve. Um, Oh, and we're gonna have a rare result. Oh, goodness. So serve rare, uh, a seven on a roll, consecutive aces uh, to win the game. All right, well, so in the end, it didn't change anything, but it could have. It's always fun to roll on the unusual results chart, right? So, okay. So now we'll go to the final set. Thank you, Dwayne, for catching that. Um, all right, so. Let's see where we are in the final set. We are looking for Volley and Savvy. 
Uh, so just one for Ivanov. Uh, and one, two, three, four. Uh, so a, um, uh, a, a, it's going to be a large advantage for Cole. He's up by three. Uh, sex advantage player leads the set five to three. All right. So uh, let's see. Five, six, seven, eight. So it'll be, uh, this will be Ivanov serving again. This will be game number nine. Uh, and he is fighting for his his life here. All right, so here is the serve. Good serve. The return, uh, a seven on the return. So he'll return it. This time we're looking at the black die. Uh, and ooh, and unfortunately he um, he does have footwork, but only when he's on a grass. So when you roll a seven and he doesn't have the quality called for, um, that means that the um, on the return, the player will have a chance for a winner shot. So Ivanov, chance to win the first point, uh, and he does. And he'll take the lead, 15 love. The next serve is good. The return, oh, is not, uh-oh. Stuart Cole, seeing his, um, his chances slip away here uh, to put this away before we go um, uh, to the next game. Let's see, uh, this will be a good serve. Uh, it's a seven. Does he have the backhand quality? He does. Um, he actually has it underlined, so he is gonna gain two chips. So now Cole on the return. Oh no, he does not. And it is 40 love. Here is the serve, oh, almost double faults. Uh, the return comes back and I think he is not gonna mess around. He is gonna try to uh, hit a winning shot here uh, and he does. So he will win and it is now four games to five. So we'll reset the points. It will be Cole now serving, uh, and the chips will stay on Ivanov because we are in the same set. Cole will get a chip as he is now serving. Um, all right, so here we go. Cole on the serve. Uh, oh no, and he will double fault. Uh-oh, oh boy. Uh, there is a, a good serve. Here is the return. Oh, and uh, let's see. When double sixes on a serve return. Um, oh, so we will roll on the uh, return. Unusual. Let's see. And a 10. Ball hits the net with it fall in or out. So Ivanov on the return, um, and it is odd. Oh, and it's gonna fall out. So Cole will get the point, and it is 15, 15. Uh, let's see, um, doubles rolled on the serve. Uh, so the return rating will drop to six to 10 for Ivanov, and he will return it. Back to Cole, uh, ooh. Let's see. He could spend his chip uh, to increase the range of his return. And then he would be, he'd be down two chips to none. Hmm. I think, oh boy, I wanna say that he wants to save it. Yeah, he's, he'll save it, he'll concede the point. So uh, 1530 with cold serving. Rolls a seven. Uh, let's see, does he have backhand? He does. Oh, now he probably should have spent that chip. So he'll gain two chips. Ivanov on the return. Uh, it's a five, but he is gonna spend one of his chips um, to make that return uh, to uh, temporarily increase his range to five to 11. Back to uh, Cole. Uh, and now he's going to have to spend a chip to increase his range to five to nine. Back to Ivanov. That's good return. Uh, Cole. Oh boy. 
I think he's going to spend a chip uh, to turn this into a, a winner shot. Trying to stop this. Oh, no. And then he misses it. Although he could spend that last chip. Boy, I think he's going to have to um, to increase his winner range. So he does. So he'll hit it. And now it's 30 30. Cole serving uh, another seven. Uh, let's see. And he'll get two of those chips right back. Because he has savvy underlined uh, and he's brown grass so here's Ivanov on the return oh and he just gets it back to Cole he will return Ivanov um, gets a six and it's doubles so uh, the return range will be lowered for Cole five to seven and oof. he's gonna spend the chip to increase the range uh, and now that it's doubles back to um, back to Ivanov it will uh, let's see no oh yeah it'll reduce his return rate um, but he still gets it oh boy a good volley going on here and now to Cole and it's gonna be Ivanov who will win the point Looking to tie this at five games apiece in the final sets. Here's the serve from Cole. Uh, good serve. A good return. Back to Cole. He will return it. Ivanov. Um, oh, well, we're going to go to the unusual. <laughs> so unusual return. Uh, for return, obviously out, but ruled in. A point for the returning player. Oh, boy. But. We're gonna roll and on a ah the chump the chair umpire <laughs> the chump <laughs> will overrule the line judge. All right, so let's see, uh, and it is odd. So the chair umpire is going to correctly call it, and it is now forty forty. Uh, so um, so we will be at deuce uh, and go back and forth. All right, so the serve to Ivanov. Uh, he will return it back to Cole and oh boy he'll spend his chip to drop or to increase his return range back to Ivanov good return to Cole uh, returns it has a seven he'll gain two chips for having savvy underlined here is Ivanov who will return it now Cole he is going to hmm He's going to spend one of those chips to make this a winner shot. And, oh boy. He'll spend the second one to increase his winner range to nine. And now he will have the advantage. Let's see. So this will be, this is a game and set point for Stuart Cole serving. He does not have any chips left. Ivanov <coughs> does have one. Here's the serve. Oh, he was so close to getting an ace, uh, but Ivanov can return, and he does. Back to Cole. And, oh, and he can't return it back to Deuce. Oh, boy. Cole on the serve uh, gets a seven. Uh, he does have forehand quality, so he'll get one of those chips back. Ivanov gets a return. Uh, let's see. He does have footwork, so he will gain a chip. Cole, oh, does get the return. Uh, his return range is three or five through eight. Uh, back to Ivanov. Hmm. He'll return it and, uh, oh, he does not, but he'll spend a chip to increase his range. Now to Cole, who returns. Back to Ivanov. Um, gets the return to Cole. Boy, who's gonna break first here? He's going to just try to return. Oh, and he does not. Oh, boy. So advantage. Ivanov. Can he break the serve of Cole? Uh, Cole with the serve is good. Um, Ivanov gets the return. Back to Cole. With the return, Ivanov's going to spend the chip and try to get the, uh, the game winner. And he does. Wow. Breaks serve. And we are now tied at five games a piece all right so now Ivanov a serving and we're gonna have bonus uh, tennis here um, 
because I believe it's you have to win by two games. All right, so um, I think for this one, we'll use the, the fast forward module to see um, what the point is. Uh, and we're looking for your savvy and surface. So one, two for Ivanov, one, two, three, four. Uh, so Cole with a moderate advantage. Um, so he will be leading 40 to 15. All right, so Ivanov on the serve, trying to save <laughs> himself here. Uh, gets four, so good serve. Cole on the return is good. Ivanov gets return and uh, he will gain two chips. Let's see. I think Cole's gonna go for broke here. He is gonna spend a chip to try to make it a winner shot. And he gets it, he gets it. So he will win uh, and now he leads six games to five. So, uh, and he will be serving for this. All right, so this could potentially be it. Uh, we will go back to zero points. Um, let's see, how are we doing on time here? I think we'll, uh, we'll fast forward this one as well. Savvy and surface again, so two to four. Uh, so Cole will have a 40 to 15 advantage and this is um, game set and match point. Cole serving uh, gets a five. And I think at this point, Ivanov is gonna, he's gonna spend those chips that he have. He's gonna try to return, make this a winner shot and he does. So now 40 to 30. Cole with the serve is good. Oh, almost gets the ace. Ivanov, he'll just return it. Oh, no. Well, he has to spend the two chips. So you can spend as many chips as you want, and he'll lower um, the range by two, I believe, right? You can... Um, I want to just check. I think you can spend as many chips as you want. Let me pull up the. Uh... Yeah, so a player with three chips can spend to convert a winner and then use two, yeah, to extend the range. Okay, yep. All right, so he has to spend those final two chips just to get the return. So now, oh boy, I think that Cole is going to spend that chip. Uh, to make this a, a match winning shot. Can he do it? And he does. There we go. Wow. Cole is going to win seven to five. Stuart Cole, the, uh, the 37 year old Englishman will win the 2022 AFR open. Uh, wow. And a stunning, uh, win over uh sergi ivanov there we go all right guys um so we'll go back up top here um so there we go guys uh again this is let's play tennis um this was a game that was a a passion project of uh, chad mcavoy um who worked with keith to get this published um and uh, really really a lot of fun i um I probably know as little about tennis um, as, <laughs> as, as you possibly can. And uh, as you can see, a lot of fun. Um, and, uh, you know, if you're only looking for, um, you know, the all-time greats, uh, there is that set available as well. Um, you know, so you can channel your inner John McEnroe. Um, uh, you know, but... And obviously, uh, as you see, it's very easy to go through a tournament. We whittled uh, that field of 100 down to eight um, and uh, in, a, in a very short amount of time. And we just played a full, uh, a full tournament in an hour. So um, this is now this is only available until uh, Monday, I believe Monday at midnight uh, Eastern time. It will get switched off. Um, hopefully at some point this will become a, a full blown um, printed 
set or a printed production for play. I know that that has happened before. Uh, Dodgeball was a previous holiday exclusive, um, and that has now been a full release from Play Now. Um, but for now, this is your only way to get it uh, is to buy it in this holiday sale um, over at PlayClassic.com. So um, thank you everybody um, for tuning in. Uh, thank you to um, uh, to everybody in the chat room who helped out on uh, the. Uh, the rules questions. Um, I, <laughs> I only got to uh, finish cutting this up last night and played through one tournament, so um, I might have missed a, a couple of things. But uh, the rules are, are very well laid out, uh, very easy to get through, um, and uh, not too bad. So everything that I printed out, um, I, I used a FedEx Kinkos. Uh, I did it on 80 pound bright cardstock uh, in color, uh, and everything. I, the um, the rules, the boards, uh, the all-time great sets, and the um, the fictional set was only like twenty dollars. So, um, you know, so not not too bad to get printed out, especially considering that it's only uh, nine dollars to get the game. So, there we go, guys. I hope you guys have a fantastic uh, rest of your Sunday. Um, and until next time, my name's Steve. Get out there, have fun, play games, and I will see you after further review. Have a good one, everybody.